pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa chapter 3 ng Philippine Electrical Code Part 1 which is all about wiring methods and materials. No? From the word itself, no? when we say wiring methods and materials, so ibig sabihin ito, it will consist of all the uh, types of wiring na ginagamit natin. No? Yung, pati yung mga ilang wire na sa loob ng box, no? ilang tubo ang po, ilang wire ang pwedeng ilagay sa tubo. No? So, last time, nakita ko na sa, iyo, sa inyo yung table no for that kasama din sa table na sinen ko doon sa ating Google Classroom the PEC part 1 tables so ngayon i ngayon tong chapter na to will also discuss no kung saan mga application pwede ang iba't ibang materials no for example when we say um, EMT no electrical metallic tubing no para saan lang siya so anong mga uses siya na permitted at mga uses na not permitted no when we say um, armored cable no para saan lang pwedeng gamitin yung ating armored cable no including the standard support no kung yari kapag nag-install ka ng 2 inches na RMC or rigid metallic conduit so uh, ano dapat yung maximum distance no ng bawat clip to ensure that that yung um, support ng ating tubo or ng ating RMC is sturdy or matibay. Okay? So, let's begin with the first slide. So, conductors on insulator method. No? So, there are only two types of wiring method na sinasabi na approved for the Philippine Electrical Code. We have the open wiring on insulator. No? So, installed exposed. So, kapag nakikita natin yung wire, either that is hung or nakaklip siya so that is open wiring no tapos yung isa naman is concealed knob and tube work no yung uh, concealed either that is directly hidden no by portion of the building kung yari naka nakalibing sa concrete no or naka ano nakalagay sa underfloor raceway no or nakalagay sa tubo or nakalibing sa uh, earth no or sa lupa so that is concealed knob and tube wiring. So, dalawa lang, no? Yung approved na wiring method according to the Philippine Electrical Code. The open wiring on insulator. So, when sabi natin open wiring on insulator, exposed siya pero merong insulator yung ating wire. So, bawal yung bare na wiring. No? Si bare, uh, bare wire or walang insulator yung wire tapos naka-expose. Bawal yan. Hindi yan approved for the Philippine Electrical Code. So, yung ibig sabihin ng open wiring insulator, so may insulator yung wire mo. Isa lang yung exception for this one, the open wiring na bare. If your wire is for the grounding wire, no, your grounding wire could be you could be bare, no, wala siyang insulator kapag grounding. But if that is a neutral or a current carrying wire, so dapat may insulator yan if you will be doing open wiring. Sa concealed knob naman, automatic, meron talaga yung ano, protection at mayroong insulator, no? If in case there is no insulator, for example, like, uh, doon, like a cable trace or bus ways, so meron siyang spacer no, para hindi magdikit yung dalawang bus bar or tatlong bus bar at hindi din siya dumikit doon sa ating, ano, sa ating um, raceway. No? So, isasahin natin yung mga materials. No? So, the cable wiring method. No, kapag sinabi natin cable wiring, we are using the wire itself na may sariling insulation. We have the armored cable BX. No? Ito yung kanyang ano, tawag. The metal clad cable. The mineral insulated metal sheeted cable. The non-metallic sheeted cable. Yung non-metallic sheeted cable, ito yung tinatawag natin PDX. No? The normal natin na PDX. Then we have the shielded non-metallic sheeted cable. The service entrance cable, so service entrance, so that is uh, the the cable na ginagamit natin for our ano for our feeders so or service feeder. In the raceway method, so ito yung mga iba't ibang raceway. No, we have the IMC, um, intermediate metallic conduit, RMC, the rigid meta metallic conduit. Then we have the uh, electric uh, rigid non metallic conduit, the PBC. We have the electrical metallic tubing, the e the AMT. The flexible metallic tubing, liquid tight flexible metallic tubing, liquid tight flexible non-metallic tubing, 
metallic surface raceway, wooden surface raceway, non metallic surface raceway. Then we have the underfloor, mga type ng cable, power and control cable, flat cord conductor, no, yung ating mga ginagamit for extension wire, so I flat cord conductor, or flat conductor, medium voltage cable, integrated gas spacer cable, underfloor raceways. Cellular metal for raceways, cellular concrete for raceways, wireways, busways, cable trays, cable bus, flexible metallic conduit, electrical non metallic conduit, and multi outlet assembly. No, so alin yang hindi dito sa ano sa ating tube, no, or sa ating raceway method. So hindi kasama po sa conduit yung ating hatawag na GI pipe, no. So for Philippine electrical code, the galvanized. Uh, pipe should not be used as an electrical pipe or an electrical conduit. No? So, wala nakalagay po dito. No? But, we know that yung, ano, yung GI pipe is could be considered as a non-metallic conduit. But, it is not um, it is not said na dapat GI or dapat galvanize. No? So, ang tanong kung pwede magamit or hindi. No? So, it will now come if depende yun sa mag approve na UBO EE. No, kasi we know that kapag GI, so it is considered as rigid and metallic conduit because the property of a rigid, rigid, and rigid metallic conduit is ano siya, atibay. No, it could withstand higher tensile uh, pull ng mga wire. No, yung GI nga lang is hindi siya madaling mag-corrode. No, so it's up now sa OBO EE to approve the use of the rigid uh, of the GI pipe. No, nakadepende na yan sa OBO na EE sa ano nyo sa lugar nyo okay then wiring methods no so we have uh, the ano the voltage limit for 600 volts nominal or less no so 600 volts pa baba AC circuit and DC conductor shall be permitted to occupy the same equipment wiring enclosure cable or raceway so ibig sabihin ito so AC circuit and DC conductor pwede magsama sa iisang enclosure or sa iisang cable tray or sa iisang raceway. All conductors shall have an insulating rating equal at least the maximum circuit voltage applied to any conductor. So, ano yung sabihin nito? So, lahat ng conductor, kunyari uh, 600 volts, so dapat ang kalang rating lahat ng conductor na nasa loob ng raceway na yun are all rated at 600 volts, ang kanilang insulation rating. So, if uh, binasa nyo ating table for wire capacity, all of the wires, no, doon na nakalagay from, T, from THHN to R, RHH are rated at 2,000 volts. So, meaning, ang kanilang insulation ay kayang mag-withstand hanggang 2,000 volts uh, before sila maano, before yung kanilang insulation are mas, ay masunog. So, that is the maximum insulating rating. Okay? Then, over 60 volts, so pataas sa 601 up, Conductors rated over 60 volts shall not occupy the same equipment wiring enclosure, cable, or raceway unless permitted. No? So, hindi daw pwede na mag-occupy ng parehong raceway ang mga conductors na over 600 volts. So, nagyong sabihin ito, kunyari mayroon kang 700 volts, mayroon kang 800 volts, hindi yan pwede magsama sa isang raceway or sa isang enclosure. So, dapat ano yan, nakasiparet. So meron lang namang mga ano mga exception no so they are permitted in to be in the same path with the following um with the following uh, conditions so secondary wiring to electric discharge lamp of 1000 volts or less so yung wiring ng ating mga discharge lamp no? yung mga matataas na mga floodlight ganun so pwede primarily leads of electric charge uh, discharge lamp balas no yung sa balas ng ating mga malalaking ano ilaw excitation control relay and arm ammeter conductors used in individual motor or starter so pwede siya then motor switch gear and control assemblies and of similar equipment conductors tapos in manhole condition of each system is permanently and effectively separated from the other system. Now, if that is an underground insulation, so dapat yung kanyang system voltage, no, makibang system voltage must be permanently separated. Mayroon siyang spacer kahit pa nakalagay siya sa isang raceway or sa isang uh, conduit. Protection against physical damage, no? 
either exposed and concealed location installed in joist rafters or wood members no yung naka-install siya sa may uh, jointing ng ating mga ano ng ating mga wood na mga uh, mga installation so holes must not be less than 300 mm of the nearest edge no so galing doon sa ating edge no galing sa edge ng ating ano ng ating joist no dapat hindi siya uh, bababa ng 300 mm no kasi baka maka-affect na yon doon sa ating jointing ng ating mga joist no tapos screw penetrations nails nails by a steel plate or bushing shall be at least 1.6 mm thick so ito yung kaniyang ano ang kanyang kapal ng kanyang screw pati yung kanyang penetration so 1.6 mm yung thickness yan So, cable and raceway through wood members. So, dapat naka, ano, naka, meron kang ginawang hole, no? Hindi pwede yung uh, nail lang, no? Nail or notches in the wood. So, the non-metallic sheeted cable, electrical and metallic tubing through metal framing members. So, dapat yung non-metallic sheeted cable, so protected by listed bushing, grommets, coverings of all metal edges. So, this is to prevent our metal cable or metal, non metallic sheeted cable from being ano ang kanyang insulation is masira no dahil doon sa ano kahoy so dapat mayroong grommet the non metallic sheeted cable and electrical metallic tubing shall be also covered with the same protection in cable through spaces behind panels designed to low access tapos cables and this with parallel to framing members and flooring strips and cables and raceways installed in shallow groups including the insulated fittings of your raceway must must the raceway containing ungrounded conductors 22 square mm or larger which enter a cabinet enclosure or raceway must be protected by substantial fitting with smoothly rounded insulating surface so that the uh, conductor hindi siya pwedeng maano magkaroon ng sugat-sugat ang kanyang Insulation. So, this is for 22 square mm and larger na mga conductors. Okay. Then, mechanical and electrical continuity of conductors. So, when you say mechanical uh, continuity, yung kanilang connection, habang yung electrical continuity naman is yung, if there is a proper bonding for the neutral or the grounding. So, conductors in this way shall be continuous between outlet boxes, device, and so forth. So, there shall be no splice or tap within this way. So, karong-karong po natin, i-highlight po natin to. When we say this way, wala po dapat na splice or tap. So, that is according to chapter 3 on the wiring methods. So, sa loob ng this way, unless permitted. So, kailan lang siya permitted? If you will be using a conduit box or a conduit. In multi-wire branch circuit, the continuity of a, of a grounded conductor shall not depend on the device connection, shut as slap holders, receptacle, and so forth, where the removal of the device would interrupt the continuity. So, what does it mean? Ibig sabihin, Uh, yung kanyang continuity, kunyari, naglagay ka ng grounding, tapos doon mo, uh, yung nap holder ang ginround mo, yung mismong nap holder, yung mismong junction box na metal. So, ang mangyayari dyan, if yung ano, yung junction box is ni-remove, so mapuputol din yung continuity ng grounding mo. So, you must have always a bonding wire. So, ibig sabihin ng bonding, bonding pinagdikit mo yung mga metal parts with a sing, with a conductor. So that is to ensure that if in case ma-remove yung junction box, meron ka pa ring continuity of your grounding. So sa cable 3, no, ito na sa cable 3. So still cable 3 is considered as this way. So there is uh splicing or tapping in a cable 3 is not permitted or in a this way is not permitted unless if yung mismong cable tray mo is mayroon siyang tinatawag natin ano tapping box. Mayroon yung tapping box, mayroon yung kasama yan sa kanyang ano accessory. So doon pwede kang mag-tap. So all this ways bus busway mayroon siyang um, accessories o mayroon siyang part na pwede ka doon mag-tap, no? So tawag namin diyan dati doon is ano tapping box, no? 
Okay. Yun, tanong na pala. Sige, question muna tayo. Para hindi malimutan yung mga na ano. Okay, so ito. Question 1. So which of the following wiring method involves the installation of wiring exposed on insulator? So alin dito? So concealed nab and tube work, open wiring on insulator, surface conduit wiring or armored cable wiring. Injan. Okay. Ito, so sobrang dali lang no. So if we're going to analyze the question, yung concealed nab, so this is concealed na nga kapag surface conduit wiring, no? Surface conduit niyan yung mga molding, no? Yung mga PVC molding or metal molding. This is still concealed, no? Tapos yung armored cable is still a concealed wiring kasi meron kang insulator, no? So ito din siya naka-concealed din to. The correct answer for this one is letter B. No? Letter B yung ating tamang sagot. Okay? Next. Which cable wiring method is known for its flexible metal sheeting that provides both mechanical protection and grounding? Yan. O karong-karo lang sa question, no? So, flexible sheeting that provides mechanical protection and grounding. Yan sa tingin nyo dito. Okay. So, ang correct answer po dito is letter B. So, metal clad. So, ang keyword po dito is yung grounding. No? So, if ano siya, if uh, if you're considering grounding, so, mas madaling i-ground yung metallic, no? Metal clad. Ito kasing mineral insulated, so, meron pa siyang layer ng, ano, ng isang insulating uh, mineral. So, kaya hindi siya madaling i-grounding. Ito, this is purely metal yung kanyang covering, so therefore, madali mo siyang i-ground. Okay? Next, what type of cable wiring is specifically designed for use as service in trans conductors connecting a building electrical service to the utility power lines? So, alin dito? Okay. Yan. And so ito madadala nato nasa or nasa question na yung answer no this is service entrance cable okay next which cable wiring method is characterized by a metal sheeted field with fire resistant mineral so yan yung keyword natin insulation often used in fire rated application so this type of wiring is commonly used if you uh, you you want your wiring to be fireproof. Yan. So, ang keyword is mineral. Yan. Okay. So, the correct answer is mineral insulated metal sheeted cable. Okay. Next. Which cable wiring method includes a plastic sheeting that encloses two or more insulated conductors and is commonly used for residential wiring. So, alin dito? So, two or more sheeted plastic cable. Sheeted. So, plastic yung keyword tapos may sheeting. So, two or more. Ito yung sinasabi kong PDX. No? The common term natin is PDX. Anong sagot nyo dito? Okay. Correct answer is non-metallic sheeted sheeted cable. So, ito yung PDX natin. Okay? Next. Which of the following raceway wiring method is not a type of metal conduit? Yan. Sobrang dali nito. No? Alin dito ang hindi metal conduit? Pag ganito yung lumabas, yun. Parang bonus na. Yan. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D. No rigid non-metallic conduit or also known as PVC. No? Okay. Next. Which of the following raceway wiring methods is not designed for enclosing conductors in high moisture 
or corrosive environment. Hindi na siya pwede sa corrosive, no? Yung pwede siyang mag ano, mag, maka, mag magkalawang or sa mga high moisture. Alin dito? Yung hindi pwede sa mga ganong environment. Okay. So, the correct answer for this one is rigid metallic conduit. So, kahit itong letter A, even this is metallic, pero liquid tight siya. So, hindi naman siya pwedeng mapasok ka ng moisture. So, it is so this one is still um, usable on a corrosive environment. Okay. So, matas-tas na question to. So, when dealing with circuits rated over 600 volts, which of the following combinations is allowed to share the same equipment wiring enclosure or raceway? Any conductors with different voltage rating as long as they are properly insulated? All types of conductors are allowed to be mixed without any restrictions. Secondary wiring to electric discharge lamp or and primary leads of electrical discharge lamp. Excitation control relay and ammeter conductors for any type of equipment. So, alin dito yung sagot nyo? Okay. So, the correct answer for this one is... Letter C, no? Secondary wiring, no? Ito, hindi ito pwede kasi dapat talaga may restrictions. Ito din, kahit, kahit they are properly insulated but they have different rating, hindi pwede. Ito naman is any type of equipment. Hindi any type of equipment but only for motor control circuits. Yan. So, kaya letter C yung tamang sagot. Next, for circuits operating at 600 volts or less, which of the following statement is true regarding the coexistence of AC and DC conductors? So, AC and DC are never allowed to be in the same enclosure or raceway. AC and DC conductors can be mixed in the same equipment enclosure as long as they have equal insulation ratings. AC and DC conductors must always be installed in separate enclosure regardless of the insulating ratings. Mixing AC and DC conductors is only allowed if the circuit is below 300 volts. Yan. So, the correct answer for this one is letter yan, letter B. So, letter B yung tamang sagot. AC and DC conductors can be mixed in the same equipment in sure. The only condition is they must have equal insulation ratings. Okay. In manholes, what is the requirement for separating conductors of different system? So, ano yung requirements? So, ano yung answer nyo dito? The conductors of different system should be in direct contact to improve heat dissipation. Separation of conductors is not required in manholes. Conductors of each system must be permanently and effectively separated. Or conductors of different system can only be separated using non-metallic barriers. Okay. Yan. So, tamang sagot po ay letter letter C po yung ating tamang sagot. No? So, they must be effectively separated from all other system conductors either that is uh, physically or using a uh, spacer okay when installing wiring in joists rafters and wood members what is the minimum distance that holes should be from the nearest edge to prevent physical damage so alang mm so kapag ganito na yung ano yung uh, lumalabas sa board, no? Yung mga measurement. So, mas mainam na, ano, na uh, you always um, try to remember, no? Kung ilang mm siya. Okay? The correct answer is letter B, at least 30 mm or 3 cm. Okay, next. What is the required thickness of a steel plate or bushing 
use to protect wiring from screw penetrations or nails in exposed and concealed locations. Okay, yan. The correct answer for this one is letter C. No? Letter C, 1.6 mm. Okay. So next, we will go to our next discussion. Ano pa lang? Isa pa lang question. Which of the following methods is used to protect raceways containing ungrounded conductors, 22 square mm or larger, as they enter a cabinet enclosure or raceway? Alin dito? Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter D, no? If you don't, if you, wala kayong idea, so, kalasan kasi tama yung mas mata, mas mahaba yung statement sa choices, no? So, fitted with substantial insulating fitting with a smooth, rounded surface. Okay, next, when installing cables and raceway parallel to framing members and flooring strips, what consideration should be taken into account. So, alin dyan? Yung kailangan yung isipin, no? If you are going to install install the, ano, con, uh, raceways which are parallel to framing members or paring, no? Or faring ang inyong, either that is your, pardon, your roof, no? Okay, the correct answer is letter B. So, dapat meron kang adequate spacing. So, lalo na if your firing or your framing members are used for the roof, no? So, dapat may adequate spacing ka kasi yung roof is always eating yan, nagiinit yan tuwing ano, tanghali, no? So, so that hindi rin mapasama sa init, no? Sa init yung ano, tubo mo at yung wire mo. So, you must have adequate spacing, okay? Which of the following statement is true regarding conductors in raceway? So, ali dito yung ano? Conductors in raceway. So, splices and taps are allowed within a raceway. Continuity of a grounded conductor can rely on the device connection. Conductors must be continuous between outlet boxes and devices. Device connection can be replaced the need for continuous conductors. So, ali yung tamang sagot dito. Okay, so the correct answer for this one, no? tulad ng na-discuss natin kanina, is letter C. So, dapat your conductors must be continuous between outlets, boxes, and devices. Wala dapat na putol. No? Walang putol. Okay? Ito pala, may correct answer na pala. No? In a multi-wire brand circuit, what should not be relied upon for the continuity of the conductor? So, ito, yung device connection like lamp holders. Okay. hindi pwede maputol yung grounded, no? Or yung grounding, uh, effective grounding path natin. Yan. Okay, next we have length of free conductors at outlets, junctions, and switch. So, ilan dapat yung sobra na wire no? pag nasa junction box ka? So, that is at least, so we see at least ang minimum is 150 mm. That is 6 inches, no? So, 150 mm. So, hindi ka na pwede bumaba sa 150 mm of free conductors from the point in the box to the raceway or cable sheet at each outlet, no? Doon sa outlet, no? So, for, that is for, for utility box mo. So, that is um, mula doon sa pinakpagkalabas niya doon sa, ano, sa 
Tawag doon, knock out. So that is, that should be 150 ml. Walang maximum. Bahala na kayo sa maximum, no? Bahala na yung may-ari na maghalit. Kasi yung sobra nyo is umabot ng ano, isang rolyo, no? Bahala na, no? So, yan din yung kadalasang ginagawa ng mga ano, ng mga electrician, no? Lalo na po yung malalaking wire, di ba? Nangyari yung mga, tawag doon, mga 250 MCM, no? Yan, isang dangkal, no? Kasi mayroong mga wire, isang ano lang, isang dangkal lang, isang ano, half, ano lang, kahit 30 cm lang, no? Kapag, ano, kapag naputol yun, no? Kapag yun ang sobra mo, tapos pinutol mo, kapag, kapag, ano, kapag naputol na, tapos kapag itinimbang, isang kilo na agad, di ba? No? Isang kilo, ano na, upper, no? Yan. So, pero, kaya sinabi dito, at least, at, at least 150 mm. So, hindi ka na pwede mababa ng 150 mm. Pag gusto mo isang rolyo ba, bahala kayong mag-explain sa, ano, sa may-ari ng, ano, project. Bakit ubo? Bakit palaging nauubusan ng wire, no? Okay. Tapos, junction, no? Junction, tapos, junction box. Tapos, sa switch point, no? Yung sa switch natin, no? So, at least 150 mm. Yan. So, 150 mm. So, hindi pwede mo mapas 150 mm. Okay. Then, wiring in ducts, plenums, and other air handling spaces. No? Yung mga centralized air, air conditioning natin unit sa mga mall. So, paano natin yan uh, um, wina-wire? Anong ginagamit natin ng mga wires? No? So, the following listed material or types of materials are permitted in wiring ducts, plenums, and air handling spaces. First, we have the MI cable, then the type MC cable without non-metallic sheeting or covering. Kasi ano yan eh, yung, yung non-metallic, it could ano, react with the, like, dun, with the chemicals, either it's hydrocarbon or freon. So, pwedeng mag-react yan dun sa, ano, mo, sa air conditioning unit mo. Pwede rin EMT. FMT, so flexible metallic conduit, IMC, or RMC without non-metallic covering. So, bawat talaga yung non-metallic non covering for uh, ducts, plenums, and air handling spaces. Panels designed to allow access. No? Cable is when equipment installed behind panels designed to allow access including suspended ceiling panels shall be arranged and secured so as to allow removal of panels and access to the equipment. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? So, if, if we have our um, cable train na nag-terminate sa switch gear, so, dapat yung switch gear natin must not be bolted. So, ano lang siya, screw. No? Dapat, he, or, ang tamang term is not bolted but uh, welded. No? Para po, hindi natin ma-remove either the ceiling itself or ma-remove mismo yung madaling ma-remove yung cable tray or yung back cover ng ating switch gear. So, ito na yung ibig sabihin ng ano, standard ito. This is what we called as accessible. Diba? Yung sa ating mga definition of terms. Accessible as to equipment. So, ito yung pinipertain ito or um, pinupunto ng ano na to, ng provision na to ng PEC. Okay. Requirements for over 600 volts nominal conductor bending radius. Yung bending radius ng ating conductor, no? Yan. So, yung ibang panel na nakatago sa cabinet. So, that is, ano, that is wrong, no? Wrong yung, ano, kapag ganyan. Because, pag panel kasi, no? I any other electrical equipment, no? Especially those equipment na may mga protective device must be easily accessible, no? Easily accessible. Uh, not, ang ta tamang term is not easy. Readily accessible in case of emergency, no? Kasi, if that is not easily accessible, so if my short circuit or my sunog, so hindi mo agad map mapapatay yung, ano, tawag doon yung supply, no? Yan. There is lang, ano, the, uh, my provision lang with what we, what we call as low todo lock, lock out, no? Tag tag out kapag if you are troubleshooting a certain equipment so dapat yung breaker na nag-supply or nag-protect ng equipment na yun must be may tag ka na for repair yung sa nandoon sa ano sa labas ng ano panel na yun tapos nakalak that is to prevent 
um, accident, no? Ma-prevent na ma-on bigla yung breaker tapos ikaw na sa equipment ka nag-aayos or nasa ilaw ka nag-aayos. So that is lock out tag out for those reasons only for safety reasons na pwede mong ilak yung panel, no? Ilak yung panel or ikahon mo yung panel, no? But for normal circumstances, dapat yung panel must be easily access uh, must be readily accessible. In case na lock lang na sa mga switch gear, no? At din sa fire alarm, may lock din yung fire alarm control panel. Pero dapat readily na anytime kapag sinabing buksan yung panel, mayroong susi agad. Yan yung ano. Yan yung um, standard doon. No? So, kaya may tatawag tayong readily accessible for equipment. Yung, o nga, yung, yung elevator nakalak. Pero, if in case may trouble, dapat mayroong agad susi. Yan. Kaya, Kasi, pag sinabi kasing uh, re readily accessible, so it is lockable, nakalock siya, pero madaling ma-open. No? Kasi, kapag sinabi kasing yung isang term is easily accessible, hindi siya nakalock. Kasi, isang sabing readily accessible, anytime pwede siyang ma-access. So, kahit nakalock, basta may susi lang. So, that is considered as readily accessible. No? Okay. Sabayag tayo sa bending radius. So, non-shielded conductors. So, these are conductors that doesn't have any shielding no? or shielding on its insulator. So, the bending radius must not be less than 8 times the overall diameter. No? Hindi siya bababa sa 8 times ng overall diameter ng ating cable. For example, the diameter is 8 inches. No? 8 times 8, so that is 64 inches ang kanyang bending radius. So, if you are going to bend your conductor 90 degrees ganyan so yung bending radius if this is a quarter circle no so ito yung sasabiting bending radius yan so the ra the the radius kung saan ka naka bend so dapat ito hindi to siya bababa sa 8 inches so ito dapat 8 8 8 or 8 times ng kanyang ano, ng kanyang um, overall diameter. Kapag shielded naman or may lead cover, so 12 times. 12 times. If multi-conductor or multiplex single conductor, 12 times of the diameter of the individual conductor or 7 times the overall diameter, whichever is greater. So ito kasi, these are stranded, no? Cables, no? May ano siya, may combination of different types of cables. So, Nakadepende if 12 times ba sa individual diameter conductor or if or it comes with ano, multiple, no? so 7 times ng overall diameter. Kung alin sa kanilang dalawa ang mas mataas. Ah, meron tayo for conduit binding. No? So, kasi nasa cables pa tayo. Eh. So, mamayang konti pagdating natin sa conduit, meron ding bending radius in every type of conduit. Okay, so conductors for general wiring. So, dito tayo. So, kailan mo, kailan ka pwedeng gumamit ng stranded? Kailan ka hindi pwedeng gumamit ng solid? So, nakalagay na ito. Stranded conductors. Conductors installed in raceway size 8.0 square mm and larger shall be stranded. So, kapag Dumating na siya sa 8.0 square mm, pataas. Dapat yung conductor na gagamitin mo must be stranded. So, ang tanong ngayon, what if 2.0, pwede po ba stranded? Pwede, no? Pwede, kunyari 2.0 stranded ang ginamit mo. Pwede, pwede po yan, walang problema. Ang sinasabi lang, pag dumating na sa 8.0 pataas, hindi ka na pwede gumamit ng solid. Dapat ang gamitin mo, stranded conductor. Pero it, it also makes sense kasi, kunyari, ano na, 250 MCM, tapos solid, no? Iwan ko lang kung may makakapag-bend or may hydraulic bender na kaya makapag-bend ng solid na ganun kalaki, no? So, kaya, ano din, ang purpose nito is, um, is of, ano, is of, uh, para maging easy yung installation. At yan din po yung dahilan kung bakit walang, walang binibenta na solid na 8.0 pataas. No? Kasi hindi talaga siya pwedeng gamitin. No? Okay, next is conductors in parallel. 
When we say conductors in parallel, kunyari, meron tayong wire na 250 mcm. No? Ang kanyang capacity is mm, 500, uh, 100 ampere. No? 250 square mm na lang. No? Square mm. Yan. Tapos, 100 amperes. Yan yun lang, 100 amperes. Kung ano naman to, sobrang baba naman. Sagay natin, 500 amperes na lang. 500 amperes. Yan. So, if in case hindi available yung 250 square mm, so, pwede natin gawin tong dalawang 125 square mm. So, yung dalawang 125, Imbis na isang 250 lang, so it will run in parallel. O kaya makakaroon na tayo ngayon ng dalawang 125. So itong wiring nito or itong run na to is a parallel run. So ito yung sabihin ng conductors in parallel. Pero may condition. No? Conductors that are 50 square mm and larger, either aluminum, copper clad, aluminum or copper, are permitted to be in parallel. So, Ang pwede mo palang iparalel lang ng mga conductor is yung 50 square mm pataas. So, ang tanong yan, pwede, pwede ka bang magparalel ng 8.0 square mm? Kunyari, ang kailangan mo is um, 22 square mm. Pero wala ka nun, so dapat sabi mo lang, ah, sige, dalawang 8.0 na lang kasi kaya naman niyang dalhin yung ampacity. Hindi pwede. Kunyari, line 1 mo, dalawang 8.0 Yung neutral mo o yung line to mo, dalawang 8.0, hindi pwede. So, ang pwede mo lang iparallel is yung 50 square mm pataas at any type of conductor. Either that is aluminum, copper clad aluminum, or copper. Yan. So, there, there must be also a condition. Ito yung condition. Have the same length. No, malamang, dapat equal yung kalang length. Kasi kapag nagparalel ka tapos hindi yung equal yung net, anong mangyari? Hindi magiging equal yung resistance, no? Yung R plan natin sa ating technical subject. No? Kasi yung re yung resistance will depend on the length also, no? So kapag yung isang part ng yung parallel conductor ito mas mahaba kaysa dito, so ito mas mas mababa yung resistance, ito mas ano? Mas mataas. So anong mangyari? So there will be a chance na yung yung mas mababa ang yung mas mataas yung resistance ay maaaring mag-init, no? Yan. Okay? Then, have the same conductor material. Yan. So, kasi pa sabihin, have the same conductor material, if yung isang 8 points, uh, if, if yung isang 5.550 square mm is copper, dapat yung nakaparalit is copper. Hindi pwede aluminum, hindi pwede mixture of aluminum and copper. Tapos, have the same cross-sectional cross area of conducting material. So, pariho ng sizes. Hindi pwede na itong isang linya 50, ito 70 or 80 square mm. So, 50 ito, 50. Yung isang, sa isa naman sa neutral, 50 din at 50. Have the same insulation type. So, if itong wire na to is THHN, so dapat ito din THHN. Ito neutral THHN, ito din THHN. Hindi pwede na magkaiba. Then, be terminated in the same manner. So, meron tayong dalawang termination. Either that is mechanical termination using mechanical lugs or the press, no? The compress method using our um, using our crimping lugs, no? The crimping lugs. So, dalawa. So, if yung itong isang copper na to is naka-terminate siya by mechanical, no? Either mechanical lugs or screw or bolt. So, dapat ito din is same. That is to ensure that they have the same um Uh, termination, no? Yung walang isa sa kanila ang um, ang mas maluwag yung termination which may cause uh, loss contact. Yan. Ito na yung mga condition for you to be able to have your conductors, no? 50 square mm and larger operated in parallel. No? Shielded, no? If shielded, dapat solid dielectric insulated conductors operated above 2,000 volts in permanent insulation shall have ozone-resistant insulator and shall be shielded. So, what's, what does it mean? For high, for high voltage installation, dapat yung wire mo is ozone-resistant. When we say ozone-resistant, so kaya niyang 
So, kaya niyang labanan yung cause, uh, yung isang effect ng ozone or the oxygen itself which is rusting. Si exposed to sila no, to 200 volts. So, that is for the distribution lines na mga wires. So, ano tawag doon? XLPE yung mga ganun. Okay. So, locations no, sa mga wire. So, for dry locations, insulated conductors and cables of any type can be used in dry location. You see, dry location, so that not subjected to moisture. Yan, yan yung mga dry location as per definition natin sa Philippine Electrical Code. So, kapag dry location, kahit anong klaseng wire, no? basta insulated. Yan. Dry and damp locations are these following conductors only. FPE, FEPB, MTW, PFA, RHH, RHW, THHN, THW, THW-2, THHW, THHW-2, THWN, so yan mga TWX, XHHW, XHW-2, Z, and ZW. Yes, kasama ang THHN sa dry and damp location. Yung dry, not subjected to moisture. Yung damp is occasionally. No? So, anong ibig sabihin ng damp? So, when we say damp, no? so, yung sa, ano nyo, yung sa, tawag doon, term doon, yung sa mga walling nyo. So, they are considered as damp location kasi pwede nag-moisture due to heating. No? So, that is considered as damp location. Pag dry location, so, you could have your ceiling. Yes, nasa PEC. Hmm, nakalagay yan sa PEC. So, ang next dito naman is the wet location. Conductors used in wet location shall be ito. So, mas ano sa wet location. Kasi that is readily subjected to moisture. So, moisture impervious metal sheeted. Meron siyang um, sheeting na, ano, na sasabi natin um, moisture resistant. You know, kaya moisture impervious, no? Tapos, itong mga type. Yung type na may mga W. Those are moisture resistant. Kapag sinabi na natin moisture resistant, so it is doesn't mean na pwede mo na siyang tag doon, ibabad sa tubig. Yan. So, iba yung moisture resistant sa waterproof. Iba yung moisture sa water. Yung moisture kasi is hindi siya nakababad. No? Kunyari, umuulan. Mababa siya sa nang ulan. That is moisture resistant. That is moisture. Pero, kapag nakababa siya sa tubig, hindi na yan moisture resistant. <laughs> ang, ang dapat na lang dyan sa wire nyo is waterproof. No? Waterproof. Hindi siya, uh, yung insulation niya is hindi mag-deteriorate mag, mag kahit nakababa na siya sa tubig. Yan. Okay, so the types are MTW, RHW, RHW-2, TW, THW, basta lahat na may mga W. Those are considered moisture resistant to wires and they could be used in wet location. Isa lang dito yung talagang klaro na hindi pwedeng gamitin, yung walang W. And ang example dan ay THHN. So lalo na kapag ang THHN is binaban yung sa tubig. No? So for example, service drop, no service drop. Yung ang service drop that is TW. No? Why? Kasi pwede niyang mababad sa ulan. Yan. So, kapag ginamit nyo is THHN, ang mangyayari dyan, uh, siguro after 3 months, o oh, few months after, yung nylon coating niya, yun yung unang mawawala. No? Mawawala siya para, mag, para siya masusunog. Ganon. Tapos, pag, pag, na, pag nawala yung nylon covering niyan, if i if i compare niyo yung rub, yung insulation, na THHN at yung THW, mas makapal yung insulation ng THW or TW compared sa THHN. So, alin doon ang mas madaling matiterate? Yung THHN. Kasi ang THHN is not made for weight locations. In locations exposed to direct sunlight, no insulated conductors or cables exposed to direct sunlight shall be types that are sunlight resistant. no So, um, the usual is yung mga moisture resistant are also sunlight resistant. Pero ito na sinabi ko, if your wire is not rated moisture resistant, tapos ini, inilagay mo sa labas for outside installation, no? 
exposed, walang walang cover, walang conduit, so hindi pwedeng gamitin ang mga THHN. No? Kasi madali talaga yung masisira or madeliterate yung kanyang insulation. Marking. So yung marking ng ating mga conductors. No? Yung sa wire. So kayo, uh, uh, mayroon kayong nakita sa mga marking sa mga wire. No? Pero may standard kung anong dapat marking ang makikita sa wire. No? Una is the maximum voltage rating. Like I said, lahat ng mga wire na nasa table natin is rated at 200, 2,000 volts. So, makikita yun dapat sa wire. Sa mismong, ano, sa mismong insulation ng wire. Pro pro proper types of letter or letters. No, yung kanyang insulation naming. So, it is THHN, THW, THWN. Manufacturer's name, trademark, or distinct marking of the manufacturer. Tapos, yung size in millimeter, square, or millimeter in diameter. Kailan nagkakaroon ng millimeter in diameter? Usually, yung, nila, yung, nila, yung nilalagay sa wire is millimeter na diameter if your wire is solid. Yan. Nakakaroon lang yan ng ano, ng square. Yung, ano, yung square millimeter is sinagamit pag-stranded. No? Cable assemblies where the neutral conductor is smaller than the underground conductor. So, ito dapat din may tagging kung alin doon yung neutral at kung alin doon ang uh, live wires. No? For live wires. Okay. Method of marking. So, kapag nasa surface, the size in square mm or mm shall be repeated at intervals not exceeding 600 mm. Naibig sabihin nun, kunyari may isa kang length ng isang roll ng wire. That is 150 meters ang isang length ng wire. No? Isang length, isang roll ng wire. No? Yung, sabihin natin yung lang 2.0 square mm. Dapat, every 600 mm or 60 cm, makikita mo dun kung ano yung laki ng wire. May 2.0 yan. So, dapat, every 60 cm or 2 feet ang wire na yon, may makikita kayong marking na 2.0. Yan yung standard. Yung iba, other than that, yung manufacturer's name, yung type of wire, ganun, is intervals not exceeding 100 mm. Yan. So, if may wire kayo, try nyo i-check. No? If yung manufacturer is sumusunod ba sa PEC. O, kunyari, yung wire is 2.0 square mm. No? So, every 600 mm, yan yung maximum ha, hindi siya pwede lumagpas ng 600 mm. Meron siyang size ng wire. Every 1,000 mm naman, or 1 meter, makikita mo yung pangalan ng manufacturer, no? At yung type ng wire. Okay? So, lahat yan, no? Single, either that is a single conductor or multi-conductor cable, and metallic cable, Service intense cable, yung mga brand circuit, tray cable, irrigation cable, power, limited cable, instrumentation, um, instrumentation tray cable. Ah, hindi po number ng wire, yung every 1 meter. Manufacturer name, tapos yung voltage, maximum voltage rating, tapos type ng insulation. Ang size ng wire makikita every 600 mm or 60 cm sa length ng wire. Ayan. So, i-check nyo yung wire nyo. Kapag may nakita kayong wire. O kapag wala, kapag hindi sumunod sa ganyan, so, that is uh, not, no? Well, hindi na, hindi na ko conform sa standard. Okay. Marker tape, no? Metal covered multi-conductor shall be employed, it shall employ a marker tape. So, ito yung sasabi ko may tagging. Kasi yung multi, uh, multi-conductor cable is sa isang, sa isang sheeted cable, maraming conductor. No? Unless if that is meron siyang color coding, kapag pareho lang siya, kunyari parehong life tapos yung neutral yung mas maliit, so dapat meron siyang sariling tagging for us to know kung alin doon yung para sa live at kung alin yung para sa neutral. Tapos ito yung tagging, no? tag marking, so meron tayong print tag for this type of cable, no? So, should be attached to the coil or reel or carton of your uh, wires, no? 
na biruin nyo, pati wire will run mang ganitong standard, no? So, for MI cable or MS cable, so when say MI mineral insulated, no? Sheet, switch, switchboard wires, metal covered cables and single conductor cables, tapos yung type AC or armored uh, cable. Yan. So, sa fixes designated to the number of conductors, so a type of letter to indicate the number of conductors. So, it's still for multi wire cable. No? Kapag D, they could use that one as two insulated conductors in parallel. Kapag M naman is assembly of two or more insulated conductors. So, yan yung pwedeng mga suffixes na gamitin. So, this is put after no? the uh, the size. no The size. Kunyari, uh, 2.0 square mm D. So, ibig sabihin yan, two conductors in parallel na 2.0. Pwede, hindi pwede gamitin yung 2.0. So, 50 square mm D. So, yung D, dalawang 50 square mm na naka parallel. Okay. Aluminum conductor, no? An alloy, an all aluminum alloy conductor shall be made. Ito yung klase ng aluminum. Yan. So, ito, may, may history na tong ano na to. Itong type ng aluminum na to sa so board exam. So, electrical grade aluminum. So, solid conductors, no? 8.0 square mm, 3.5 diameters. 5.5, 3.5. So, ito yung ano niya. Pinaka solid. Wala pong 2.0 na aluminum. Yan. Standard conductors, ito hanggang 500 square mm. So, yung maximum na laki ng aluminum conductor is only 500 square mm. No? Pakitake note lang po, no? Pero, bibigyan ko naman kayo ng ano, ito, copy nito. So, yung ano, yung stranded niya will start from 8.0 square mm hanggang 500 square mm. Walang 2.0 square mm ang aluminum. Yan. So, ito po yung table natin for the boreal in millimeters, no? So, kung pagdun, kung gaano kalalim yung huhukayin nyo para malibing yung wire, no? So, kunyari, wala siyang conduit. So, all location not specified below, so 600 mm. Ito kasi ito is may yung mga concrete, sa ilalim ng floor ng building, may exterior concrete na slab 100 mm, ganyan, no? Ito yung kanyang mga ano, mm, kung gaano kalalim. Ito naman kapag sa IRMC at sa IIMC. Ito is for sanan metallic. Ito yung mga, mga GFCR protection. Habang ito naman is for irrigation. So, iba't iba yan, no? So, yan lang yan to. Um, just browse, no? Kasi ang kadalasan naman dito is ito. Itong first row ang kadalasan na ano, board. Okay? Next. So, then these are for yung medyo matataas na yung ano. Matataas na yung tawag doon voltage, no? From 600 volt to 22 kilovolts. And 760, so 22 to 40 kV, tapos over 40 kV 1000 mm. That is directly buried cable. So this is useful if your um, system is underground lahat, no? Na yung mga sa, sa mga distribution system yung sa mga tawag doon yung sa mga uh, co electric co-op natin na kano siya naka buried so ito yung sinusunod nila no okay tapos ito naman yung mga type of insulation per wire no so paki-browse niyo dito no yan ang ang ano lang ang isipin niyo lang is yung pinakaunang letter if that is f fluorinated if m mineral yun yung mga ganun yung r niyo is yung r that is thermoset no moisture resistant thermoset ganyan Tapos is a silicon, a T. A T is a thermoplastic. Yung H is thermoset. Ganun. Ito na, ano na natin to, no? The, tawag doon? Uh, the rating factor or the adjustment factor, no? Na-discuss na natin to as meeting. Okay. So, dito tayo sa mga question na. Okay. What is the minimum length of free conductors required from the point of the box? to the raceway or cable sheeted at each at, at each outlet junction and switch point for splices. Yan. Talagang hindi nyo to makakalimutan. Yung gano'n ka 
ano, kahaba. No? Kasi, meron na kayong pwedeng sabihin sa may-ari, no? According to PEC, ganito lang po ang, ano, ang minimum. Hindi pa pwede lumagpas nito. So, the correct answer is letter C, no? 150 mm. If in case hindi siya naka-mm, 6 inches, no? Kasi baka biglang mag, ano, English system yung board, yung sa board exam. So, which of the following types of cable is permitted in wiring ducts, plenums, and air, air handling spaces, no? So, ito, pinigay na yung answer that is type MI cable because they are um, resistant proof and fire proof. Next. In which of the following circumstances is EMT tubing allowed for wiring in ducts, plenums, and air handling space, spaces? Yeah. Hindi to. Saan po hindi mong gamitin ang EMT for spaces, no? Yung mga sa aircon, yung mga ducting, alongside sa ducting. Okay. So, ang correct answer po nito is dapat wala siyang non-metallic covering. So, letter C. Yan. Next. Okay. What is the requirement for uh, arranging and securing cables, risway, and Equipment installed behind panels designed to allow access such as suspended ceiling panels. So, ano dapat yung condition? Tingin nyo alin dyan sa A to D. Ang tama. Okay, yan. The correct answer is letter D. Okay, next. For non-shaded conductors with a diameter of 1 inch, what is the minimum bending radius required? 1 inch daw tapos non-shielded. Ano yung kanyang bending radius? Yan. Non-shielded. Ano ba yun? 12 times ba yun sa diameter? Or 8 times? Yan dito. Okay, the correct answer is... 8 times diameter or kasi yung diameter natin is 1 inch kaya 8 inches ang kanyang bending radius. So, non-shielded conductors. Yan. Kapag yung shielded, so that is nan yun kapag shielded. Okay. When dealing with a multi-conductor cable consisting of individual conductors with a diameter of 0 0.5 inches, what is the minimum bending radius based on the provided requirements? So, ano yung bending radius kapag 0 0.5 inches? That is individual conductors. Mas tingin nyo, is it 5, 3.5, or 7, or 12? Kapag individual, no? So, 7, no? That is 7 inches. Yan. Which is, is greater, no? Kapag doon tayo sa, ano, 12 inches, so 0 0.5, 12 times, so magiging, ano, siya, 6. So, kapag, ano, yung actual niya, so 7 inches. Okay. Next. What are stranded conductors, when are stranded conductors required to be used in a raceway? Yan dito. Kailan ka daw pwedeng gumamit ng stranded conductors? Okay. Correct answer is for conductors larger than 8.0 square mm. So this is the required, no? Required ka talagang mag-stranded. Now, of course, pwede kang gumamit ng stranded for all other size of conductor. But, it is required na kapag 8.0 pataas, dapat stranded na yung gamitin mo. Okay? 
Next, when dealing with circuits rated over 600 volts, which of the following combinations is allowed to share the same equipment, wiring, or go shore or raceway? Tapos na yan ata to ha. There's C yung sagot ito kanina. Nang tapos na to. Bakit pa siya bumalik? Okay. Which of the following condition is not a requirement for parallel conductors in each phase polarity neutral grounded circuit conductor? So, alin dito yung hindi requirement para magkapag-parallel ka ng conductor? Okay, yan. Parang Ano nyo talaga? Nakuha nyo talaga kanina yung mga conditions. So the correct answer is letter D. Dapat hindi magkaiba-iba ang kanilang termination method. Okay? Next. For solid dielectric insulated conductors operated above 200 volts in permanent installation, what is the required characteristics of their insulation? Is it fire resistant, thermal conductivity, ozone, or UV resistance. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no ozone resistance. So that is to prevent corrosion. Okay. Which type of conductors and cables are permitted for use in both dry and damp location? So dry and damp location. Din dito. Okay. So the correct answer is letter B. Yan. Or B. Next. In which type of locations can insulated conductors and cables of any type B use? So, yan na dito yung mga location na kahit anong klaseng wire pwede. Kahit anong type ng insulation pwede gamitin yung wire. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter A, no, in dry location. So, wala pong, ano, limitation. Kahit anong klaseng wire pwede sa dry location. Okay? Which of the following types of conductors or cables are suited in wet location? So, higi daw sa wet location. Alin dito? Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Yeah. Okay, next. In what type of location should insulated conductors or cable be sunlight resistant? Alin dito? So, nasa ano na? Question na yung sagot. Okay, so the correct answer for this one, so sunlight resistant, so exposed to direct sunlight. Okay, next, which information is not required to be marked on the conductors and cable according to, to those mentioned in the code? So yung code dito is the Philippine Electrical Code. Alin dito yung hindi kasama sa ilalagay? Or alin dito yung hindi nakasaad pala, no? Hindi nakasaad. Philippine Electrical Code. Okay. So the correct answer for this one is letter A. No? Kasi sa letter A only, yung manufacturer's name lang daw tapos size ng wire in square millimeter. Na ang ano, totoo is ahat, no? Manufacturer's name, yung size sa millimeter at uh, diameter sa millimeter tapos maximum voltage kasama pa dong types 
sama pa yung types ng insulation sa wire. Okay. In which case is marking for cable assemblies required as per given by the code? Alin dyan, yung sa multi-wire cable, no? yung sinabi ko kanina. Kailan, na mag, kailan dapat magkaroon ng marking? Okay, so the correct answer is letter The correct answer for this one is letter B, no? If mas malaki yung ungrounded conductor sa ano, neutral conductor, no? Okay. Yung okay, mga questions, so let's proceed to another topic which is all about cabinet cutout boxes and meter socket enclosure. So, surface type enclosure tayo. So, in dump location, so, enclosures must be installed to prevent moisture from entering and shall be placed with at least 6 mm air space. No? So, my spacing, spacing siya na 6 mm. In weight location, so, enclosure must be installed in weight location shall be waterproof. No, to na sinabi ko na, kaya to wire dapat waterproof. And shall be placed at 600 mm airspace from the wall or supportive surface. Position in wall, enclosure shall be installed in walls, concrete tile, or other combustible material. So, cabinet shall be installed so that the front edge is not sit back to the finished surface for more than 6 mm. So, hindi siya naka-oslate ng more than 6 mm. So, ang common dito na mga measurement is... 6 mm that is installation of surface type enclosures enclosure with switch or over current devices so shall not be used as junction boxes no yung mga uh, yung ating mga utility utility box or auxiliary gutters or raceway for feeder conductors unless meron siyang adequate spacing which is provided for the purpose then conductor shall not fill the wiring space at uh, wiring space cross section of any box by 40%. So hindi siya pwedeng magpas ng 40%. Taps, no, yung ating ano spacing shall not fill the wiring space of our box of more than 75%. So yung conductor dapat hindi lang magpas ng 40%. Tapos if si if Sasama, if isama natin yung ating splicing, no, kasi nag-splice tayo, so medyo makakaroon ng konting uh, uh, doon, um, petrusion or bukol yung ating ano, junction box or yung ating wire. So, dapat ang total ng nakain niya na space is not more than 75%. Construction specifications, so cabinet, cut-out boxes, and meter sockets. So, yung strength, so it, it should be have uh, no, ample strength and supported no to support the electrical components so if constructed of sheet metal or sheet steel dapat hindi bababa sa 1.35 mm yung thickness ng sheet metal and coated or hindi uh, nakapintura spacing shall be sufficient to provide ample room for the distribution of wires and cables so this is for our cabinets no and cut out boxes so, sa base, dapat ang airspace is 1.6 mm. Sa doors, so meron tayong space na 20, at least 25 mm. Space from live parts must be 13 mm between walls, back, and gutter partition. No? So meron taga siyang ano, space 13 mm. Spacing shall be increased at least 25 mm for voltages kapag lumagpas ng 250. 250, no? 251 to 600 nominal. Okay. So, outlet, device, pool, and junction box, conduit body, so ito yung ating conduit, fittings, and unhole enclosure. So, kapag round boxes, so this should, met, should not be used where conduits requires the use of lock nut bushings on the side of the box. No? Kasi hindi mo yan malalak. O malalak man, magkakaroon siya ng parang space. Non-metallic boxes are permitted only with open wiring on insulators or concealed tube wiring, cable wiring methods with entirely non-metallic sheet 
fixable keyboards and non-metallic raceway. Magamit ka lang ng, ng non-metallic box if your raceways are also non-metallic. So, yan yung ibig sabihin yan. Short radius conduit bodies. So, yung conduit mo. So, cap elbows and service intense elbows that includes conductors 40 square mm or larger or smaller shall not contain splices. No, so, 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 yung mismong service, in, service so, entrance cap mo or kung may condolit ka, dapat hindi siya ano, lagyan ng spicing or taps or devices and have sufficient size to provide space. Lalong lalo na if that is 14 square mm below na size ng wire. Surface mounting. Enclosure surface mounted shall be rigidly and circularly fastened in place. Structural mounting, so rigidly supported either by directly using a metal polymeric or wood brace. So kapag nails or screw, dapat 6 mm of the back or ends of the enclosure. Kapag naglagay ng braces, so dapat yung ating metal brace is 0 0.5 mm thick. No? Tapos kapag wood brace, wood brace naman, no? so dapat yung kahoy natin is 25 mm by 50 mm, yung minimum. Kapag polymeric ano, base naman, so that is a ceramic or a polymer base or a plastic base, so dapat it is suitable for the use, so identified. No? Mounting in finished surface, so enclosure shall be supported by clamps, anchors, or fittings. Kapag sa suspended ceiling naman, suspended ceiling shall not be more than 1,650 um, cubic centimeter in size and has the enclosure fastened securely. So, framing members, so they must be uh, framed using bolts, screws, or rivet. No? Raceway supported enclosure without devices to minor, so same pa rin, shall not exceed 1,650 cubic centimeter. No? Yung ating, ano, ito din sa, ano, seeding. No? Each conduit shall be 900 mm with the, in, within the enclosure or 500 mm of the enclosure if on the same side. And raceway supported enclosure with device. So, ganun pa rin. Tapos, 450 mm ang kanyang distance. No, galing, ang kanyang support galing sa box. Enclosure in concrete masonry shall be protected from corrosion and securely embedded. No? Then pendant boxes can be supported by flexible cords or conduits with length of 450 mm. Outlet box. So the depth of your outlet box, internal depth, must not be less than 13 mm. Kapag flashing naman siya, so the internal depth must not be less than 24 mm. So the maximum number of luminar, yung bigat ng ating outlet box, so could support up to 23 kilogram, no? yung maximum. Then, for aluminum more than 23 kilograms, so it should have a support independently. No? So kapag ginamit lang natin is our box, no? our junction box, as support for our luminar, so dapat yung bigat ng ating, ano, yung bigat ng ating box must not be more than 23 kilogram. Yan. So boxes at ceiling, suspended paddle or fan outlet, so, yung kanyang maximum na support is only support not more than 32 kilograms. So, dapat hindi siya lalagpas ng 32 kilograms. So, out, outlets designed to support fans weighing 16 kilograms or more. Marking shall include the maximum weight to be supported. So, pull and junction box and conduit bodies. No? Yung pulling natin, straight pull. Pwedeng magkaroon ng tapping sa ano outlet box. So, it, ano, for outlets only. No? Uh, tama, outlet box. So, pwede kang karoon ng tapping pero tapping yung sabi ng plain tap. Yan. Plain tap or itong natin tap. As long as it's securely, ano. Tapos, isang ano lang. Isang tap lang, no. Isang wire lang yung nakatap. Hindi yung, ano, multi. Yan. Pwede yan. Kahit sabihin natin na bawal sa ano, sa, sa utility box, yan yung ano, exception. No? Yan yung exception. Kasi, ang kalasang ginagamit natin for outlet is 
nung home run niya is ano na for the outlet home run niya is tawag doon um talagang buong let na tapos nagtatapping lang tayo hmm. yan pero dapat isang wire la ang nakatap per outlet box kasi ang mangyari baka magiging dalawa no if lalo na pag nag dagdag na naman ang outlet tapos doon ang kukuha yan diyan pwede isa lang okay so the u pulse or our ano yung ating pag nag ano tayo nag uh, pu, wire pulling tayo ng ano ng tag doon ng pa bend no or paliko so dapat the box shall not be less than six times the size of the raceway that is to allow uh, or to or to facilitate cable pulling yan yung mismo size ng box dapat hindi siya bababa ng six times sa diameter ng ating raceway kunyari maraming raceway na iba't ibang size ang mabasihan natin is yung largest raceway yan Metal boxes, no? this is for the metal boxes. Dapat the corrosion resistance. So, well galvanized, enameled, and properly coated inside and out to prevent corrosion. The thickness, so yung kanyang and then volume is not more than 1,650 cubic meter. Habang ang kanyang thickness is 1.6 mm. So, the wall must be malleable iron, no? Pero ang kanyang thickness must not be less than 2.4 mm. Kapag ginamit natin is cut metal box, cast metal boxes, so the thickness, no? The thickness shall not be less than 3 mm. Full and junction box for use of system over 600 volts. So yung kaninang mga standard, that is for 600 volts. What if pag magpasa ng 600 volts? So, the length of the box shall not be less than the 48 times the outside diameter of the largest conductor. So, 48 times. So, that is for straight pull. Kapag angle naman or yung paliko, dapat 36 times of the largest conductor. Okay. So, question na tayo. What is the minimum required airspace distance between the enclosure and the wall or supporting surface when installed in damp or wet location? So, ano yung minimum na spacing niya? Is it 1 mm, 3 mm, 6 mm, or 9 mm? So, expected na na, no? Na yung sa PEC, mayroon talaga hangga dito, no? Yung mga sukat-sukat. Aside from um, yung mga definitions, no? Tapos yung mga statement na which of the following is required, yung mga ganon. So, ganyan yung sa PEC. Kapag medyo ginawang mahirap, so yun, nagkakaroon na ng load calculation. So, expect nyo na siguro during the exam you will have at least uh, four, four questions na my calculations, especially yung sa motor load at yung sa ano, uh, wire ampacity. Yan. Nakakomon yung ano, yung dalawang yan. You know, yung sa motor load, which yung ano, yung kukunin niya yung doon, size of conductor or size of feeder or the demand load ng inyong ano, motor conductor. Tapos, the worst naman is given yung temperature. Tapos, kung nakalagay ba siya sa conduit or exposed lang, kukunin niya yung ampacity. Yan yung ano, pinaka tawag doon, pinakasuki, no? If meron mang lalabas na doon sa ano, yung sa mismong full na calculations, so yun, lamang isa lang. Tapos, isa na siguro sa ano, cloth dryers at yung mga ranges. Yan. The correct answer for this one is letter C, no? 6 mm. Next, which of the following types of enclosure is required to be weatherproof when installed in specific locations? So, alin dito? Yung dapat taga siya weatherproof. Ito trick question to siya. Trick, no? Tricky question. Okay. So, the correct answer is 
Ayan. So, dump location enclosure. So, dapat maka-weather proof siya. Ayan. What is the permissible maximum fill conductors in wiring space of enclosure for switches and overcurrent devices? Ilang percent yung conductor fill ng ating, ano, ng ating mga boxes? Ilang percent? Okay. So, the correct answer is letter B. 40%. Okay. In enclosure for switches or recurrent device, what is the maximum all allowable fill for taps? Yung sa tapping naman. Alin dito? So, kapag hinanap nyo to sa Philippine Electrical Code, kung, no, siguro mauubos yung oras nito paghahanap sa ano. Sa so 75%. Correct answer is letter D. Yan. Okay, next. When constructing cabinets, cut-out boxes, or meter, meter socket enclosure with sheet metal, what is the minimum uh, required na thickness ng uncoated metal? Uncoated metal. Ano yung minimum? So, minimum na thickness. So, naghati-hati na yung mga answer nyo. Okay. So, the correct answer is 1.35 mm. So, ito yung pinaka manipis. So, hindi na pwedeng namipis pa kaysa 1.35 mm. Okay. Next. So, what is the minimum required airspace between live parts and doors in cabinets, scout-out boxes, and meter socket enclosure? So, if this is your live parts, no? So, ito yung live mo. Tapos, ano? Tapos, ito yung door, no? Ano yung minimum na spacing niya? Yung door ng inyong box. Yan. Ano yung space? Minimum. Ito yung live bus bar. Ano yung minimum from the door? The correct answer is 25, no? 25 mm. Yan. Okay, next. Wind surface mounting enclosure, what is the required minimum distance that nails and screws should be placed from the back or ends of the enclosure? Yan. So, ano yung answer nyo dito? Minimum, no? Galing sa, ano, sa decode. O kapag surface mounted siya. The correct answer is 6 mm. Okay? Next. For a raceway supported enclosure with devices, luminaires, fixtures, or lamp holders, what is the maximum size of the raceway that is allowed? So, yung volume ng raceway, ano yung, ano, maximum? Okay, yan. So, the correct answer is 1,650 cubic centimeter. Next, what is the required internal depth for outlet boxes enclosing flash devices? Ano yung kanyang... Required internal depth. Yeah. Okay. So the correct answer for this one is 24 mm. Yan. Medyo dito dumadami na yung mga ano, measurements, no? Yan. Ito, tapos ito, this is also resistant, no? Okay. What is the maximum weight that outlet boxes are permitted to support for luminaires installation? So, alin dito yung maximum na weight? Okay. So, the correct answer is yan, 23 kilograms no 23 kilograms next 
what is the minimum required internal depth of outlet box? Yan. So, yan na, no? Mabas <laughs> yung, ano, nasa chat, no? Kanina, ano na yun, sa pricing box, yan, no? The correct answer is 13 mm. So, ito, balikan rin ka na yung 20, ano yan? 24. So, this is for internal depth if flashing, no? Closing flash device. So, 24 mm. So, kapag ano naman siya, kapag surface lang, so 13 mm lang yung kanyang required. Huh? Okay. Next. For sheet steel boxes, not to uh, not exceeding 1,600 square uh, cubic centimeter, what is the minimum thickness of sheet steel required? So minimum. A thickness. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C. Yeah, 1.6 mm. Next, what is the minimum required wall thickness for a malleable iron box or conduit box? Minimum thickness. So, wall thickness, malleable iron box. Ito yung keyword niya, no? For conduit body. Yeah, and the correct answer for this one is 2.4 mm. Okay, next, for street pools in junction boxes, what is the required minimum length of the box in relation to the largest shielded or lead covered conductor or cable entering the box? So, ilang ano? Is it 12, 24, 36, or 48? Okay, correct answer is 48 times the outside diameter. Next, what is the minimum required distance between each cable or conductor for angle or, or u poles in the junction box? So, ito pag ano, nakabend siya sa ating pull box or junction box. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter C, yan, 36, 36 times. So, mas, ano, mas mababa yung naka, ano siya, naka, nakalagay sa junction box compared dun sa straight pool. Next, so dito tayo sa armored cable, no? So, the armored cable, ito yung definition niya, a fabricated assembly of insulated conductors in flexible metallic enclosure. Ang kanyang insulation is 90 degrees Celsius, but for application, this is usually considered as 60 degrees Celsius. The bending radius ng ating wire na to is not less than 5 times the diameter of your wire. Ang kanyang securing will must not be or... Dapat may ano siya, clips siya or support in every 300 mm kapag malapit siya sa kanyang box. No? Kapag horizontal support naman or buong length, dapat hindi lalagpas ng 1,400 mm. Hindi to meters but mm. Kulang yan ng m. Yan. So, yung spacing niya must not be more than 1,400 mm or 1.4 meters. Look. Okay. Saan pwedeng gamitin yung mga cable na to? So, ito. So, if ha <coughs> if hahanapin nyo to sa Philippine Electrical Code, so, ito is naka-statement. So, ang ginawa ko is ginawan ko doon ng table para mas madali. So, uses permitted, pwede mong gamitin siya in exposed and concealed works, in cable trays, in dry location, naka-imbid sa plaster or bricks, except, no, hindi kasama yung damp or wet location or to be run or fish in the air voids of masonry block no naka ano doon sa mga hollow na mga blocks of walls but not exposed to excessive moisture and dampness so saan siya hindi permitted so malamang opposite dito no subject to physical damage so kaya hindi siya pwedeng ano um 
expose talaga na ano, para siyang matapakan or maaring madaanan ng mga equipment. In damp and wet location, exposed to corrosive fumes. So, bakit siya pwede na exposed to, cor to corrosive fumes? Kasi, metallic. No? Embedded in plaster pero nasa damp and wet location. Tapos, air voids pero nasa with which are exposed and also subject to excessive moisture or dampness. Okay? Next, integrated gas spacer cable or type IGS. So, an integrated gas spacer is a factory assembled of one or more conductors, each individually insulated and enclosed in a loose-fit non-metallic fixable conduit as an integrated gas spacer cable. Ang kanyang rating is from 0 through 600 volts. So, ang Ben, so, not more than 4 quarter bends, which is equivalent to 360 degrees. Fitting, so, meron siyang mga sariling fittings, including valve and cap. The conductor sizes is 1 to 19, no? 3 mm rods. The minimum size shall be, yung pinakamababang size ng conductor na to, the IGS is 25 square mm. And the maximum size is 2,375 square mm. This is usually used now in high voltage application. The insulation, so the insulation is a pressurized sulfur hexafluoride SF6. No? Tapos, ang kanyang nominal gas pressure ng kanyang ano, insulation is 138 kPa. So the conduit, so the conduit shall be a medium density. No, kasi bet ito, may selling wire, tapos may conduit din. So ito yung kanyang mga iba't ibang size ng wire. 50 mm, 80 mm, at 100 mm. So permitted only in these two conditions. So service entrance conductor and feeder or branch circuit conductor. It should not be used for um, interior wiring or be exposed in contact with buildings. So yan yung kanyang hindi pwede siya gamitin. Okay, so flat cable assemblies or type FC. So a type FC cable assemblies are assembly of parallel conductors or form it with in integrally with an insulating material. Waves is specifically for the field insulation in surface and metal raceway. So ang kanyang construction, ang itong klase ng mga conductor kasi sa loob nito, yung meron ng mga sariling conductor din which is also enclosed in another insulating material. So, either mayroon siyang dalawa, tatlo, apat, or limang conductor sa isang group. The conductor sizes are 5.5 square mm. No? They are stranded wires. So, the securing and passing supported by special design feature surface metal raceways. The temperature rating, no? can, ito it shall be marked, at intervals not exceeding 600 mm, yung, ground, yung kanyang color ng kanyang grounded conductor is either white or gray, yung neutral niya, no? kapag sa ating grounded conductor. So, the, the application. So, it is permitted on brand circuit for lighting, small appliances, and power loads not to exceed 30 amperes. Installed for exposed work, not subject physical damage and surface metal is we identified for the use okay so subject to corrosive vapors unless suitable for application is pwedeng gamitin in hoistways or in elevators in hazardous location and in outdoors yan bigyan natin ng x para ibig sabihin hindi siya pwedeng gamitin sa mga application na to okay then you have flat conductor cable yung kanina is flat conductor and flat cable, ito flat conductor cable or type FCC. So, three or more flat copper conductor placed edge to edge and separated and enclosed within an insulating assembly. So, tatlo ang minimum. Kanina is mayroon siyang two, yung flat cable. So, bottom shield, so mayroon siyang shield sa kanyang bottom. Top shield, no? which is also used to, uh, uh, is a grounded, no? grounded metal covering. Then, may siyang cable jointer. Tapos, ano, yung installation is like eh, pag-install ng ano, ng cable tray, no? So, kanyang voltage, it shall not exceed 300 volts. And the face to ground volts is 150. 
Ayan. Tapos ang kanyang current rating shall be on have only 20 amperes. And could be pwede natin gamitin as 30 ampere pero individual. O hindi siya hindi pwede gawing multi uh, wire na ano na run. Installation no, shall be permitted on the following conditions sa floors, tapos sa wall, damp location, heated floors, steam height na hindi lalagpas ng 2.3 meter, no? And coverings na yung kanyang cover is not larger than 900 square mm. Okay, use not permitted. So ano lang? Ito lang, no? Outdoors in with location subject to vapors in hazardous location and in residential school buildings and hospitals. Okay, then we have the MV or the medium voltage cable. So it is a single multi-conductor solid, no? Dielectric insulation. So, rated 2,000 volts or higher. So, kaya tinatawag siya medium voltage kasi tataas siya sa 2,000. So, it, it is constructed no, with copper, aluminum, or copper clad conductors. No? Okay. So, the use, it is used in weight or dry location. Pwede nakalagay sa raceway. Pwede nakalagay sa ano, cable tray, directly buried, or messenger supported wiring. Pwede siya, uh, pwede sa ano, Exposed to direct sunlight in cable tray and direct ball DR, which is that uh, followed no, according to the code. Tapos, yung service in trans cable. So, meron tayong SE and USE. So, yung SE, that is the same service in trans cable conductor, either multi-conductor or single conductor, with or without an overall covering, primarily for the use of services. Yung so service in trans lang talaga ito pwede. So type SE, so flame retardant moisture resistant covering. Yung type USE, this is underground or underfloor, no? For underground use. Ito yung ginagamit natin kapag nakalagay ito sa under, sa ano, sa nakalibing na sa lupa, ang tawag natin na ngayon is service lateral. Itong type SE naman, ito yung natawag nating service drop, no? The bending radius should not be less than 5 times to the diameter of your cable. Then metal clad cable or type MC. So, factory assembly or more insulated conductors with or without optical fiber members in insulated armor interlocking metal tape or corrugated metal sheet. So, this is usually for communication purposes, yung type MC cable natin. Okay. So, use permitted. So, ito. No? Sobrang dami na use permitted niya. So, ano na lang dito. I, ano na lang. Browse nyo na lang, no? Tapos, ang kanyang hindi permitted, no, ito yung highlight kasi tatlo lang. Subject to physical damage, direct boreal, and also in concrete. So, bending radius, no? So, cable not more than 9 mm diameter, 10 times. Uh, 9 mm, but at least than 440 uh, mm. 19 pala, no? 12 times. More than 4 EMM diameter 15 times. Tapos, may siyang, in may siyang interlocking or corrugated sheet. So, 7 times. Kapag shielded, ito. No? 7 or 12 times. Securing. No? So, dapat ang kanyang, ano, ang kanyang horizontal support shall not exceed 1,800 mm. Uh, or few, or basta uh, di ba baba, no? Tapos, ang kanyang conductor is 5.5 square mm. And shall be secured within 300 mm pag malapit na siya sa outlet box. So the conductors could be aluminum, copper, or copper clad. And so it may come on sizes na 18W, yung pinakamaliit, tapos 3.5. So mineral insulated, mineral shaded cable. So this is a factory assembly of one or more conductors insulated with highly compressed Refractory mineral insulation and enclosed in liquid tight, gas tight, and copper or alloy sheeted. No? So these are the used. No? So ang, ang conductors pa nito could be copper, nickel, or nickel coated copper. So ito yung kanyang mga uses permitted. So, sobrang dami. Ang atin na nagtitignan dito is yung not permitted, which is on underground runs exposed to conditions that are destructive and corrosive to the metallic sheet no yung bending radius the radius of the 
inner edge of your uh, metallic cable should be if nine if more than 19 mm diameter five times if greater than 19 mm but not more than 25 mm diameter 10 times tapos ang securing niya is the same doon sa isa which is 1800 mm ang interval then power and control tray cable or type tc these are usually used for control circuits no so type tc is this one fire lighting control cable trays raceway class 1 circuits tapos non power limited fire alarm system industrial establishment and installed in with locations and corrosive environment so this is permitted if this is exposed to physical damage installed outside the raceway so dapat nakapaloob siya sa raceway tapos direct contact or direct exposure to the sun at directly buried hindi siya nakalagay sa conduit so that the bending radius 25 mm or less diameter four times larger than 25 mm one inch but not more than 50 mm diameter so five times the overall diameter ang kanyang bending radius Larger than 50 mm diameter yung kanyang ano, yung mismong cable. So that is 6 times the overall diameter. Yun, yun ang kanyang bending radius. Yan. Question ulit tayo. What is the minimum required bending radius for armored cables? So wag kayo mag -aala. Yung mga notes, isi-send ko din to, no? Para din mapag-aralan nyo ulit, no? Including the ano tong answer key nito. Okay. Correct answer is letter D. Yan, tama, 5 times. Yan. Parang nag ano, naghang yung PowerPoint. Wag naman sana. Okay. Next. What is the recommended maximum distance for supporting horizontal lines of armored cable? Yan, yung maximum distance ng kanyang support. 500, 1,000, 1,400, 4, 2,000. Yun. Nag-take note talaga sila. Ha? Yan. Kasi malay natin, ito yung lumabas, no? At least meron ng isa, no? So the correct answer is 1,400 meters. Okay, what is the maximum allow allowable equivalent number of quarter bends, 360 degree bends in a run of type IGS integrated gas spacer cable? Ilang quarter bends allowed? Okay, so the correct answer, so ito pa nakakuman ito kapag bending talaga, no? Kahit anong klase pa siya. That is 4 quarter bend lagi. No? Next. What is the nominal gas pressure used in the insulation of integrated gas spacer cable? So the nominal. Or that is the standard na ano, pressure. Yun, kahati-hati yung mga sagot nyo. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. Yan, 138. So, may tanong. Ano? Meters ba nakalagay? Teka natin, ha? Dito meters, but mm, no? Millimeters pala to. Ano ba yan? Kaya natin ang m. So, salamat dun sa, ano, naka, tawag dun, nakakita, no? Ng maling unit. Yan. Okay, what is the primary purpose of a flat cable assembly? Yan. So, yung purpose niya. Okay. So, the correct answer for this one is letter... D, to be installed in surface metal this way. Next, 
How are temperature rating mark on the flat cable assembly? Yan. So, kapag sa flat cable assembly, ano yung marking ng kanyang temperature rating? Okay, so the correct answer is yan, not over 600 mm, no? letter C. Yan. Okay, next. What is the maximum allowable voltage of a flat conductor cable system? And what is the maximum allowable voltage between phase and ground conductors within the system? Daming hinihingi ng question na ito ah. Hmm. Hindi ito yung tama. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter C, 300 volts, 150 ang phase 2 round. And okay, next. What is the purpose of the bottom shield in a flat conductor cable system? So, ano yung purpose ng bottom shield? Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter D. Yan, provide protection. Okay, next. Which type of brand circuit requires 30 ampere rating in a flat conductor cable FCC system? Dito. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no special purpose branch circuit. Okay, next. What is the maximum allowable system height before it must be tapered or feathered at the edges of the floor level? So this is still for FCC cable. Okay, and this, di, di ko siro to na highlight kanina, but the correct answer for this one is letter C, no 2.3 meters. And Next, in which of the following location, the installation of FCC is not permitted. So, nilakay dito, but this is for FCC or flat conductor cable. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D in damp location. Okay. What is the minimum required bending radius for the inner edge of a service entrance cable? Alin dito? 3 times? 3 times? 4 times? 5 times? Or 6 times the diameter? Okay. So, the correct answer for this one yan, is 5 times. Now, that is for service entrance cable. In which of the following location is type MC cable not permitted? Alin dito yung hindi permitted yung ating type MC cable. Yan. Okay. So, the correct answer is letter to forward. So, the correct answer dito is letter C. And next, for which of the following application is uh, type MC cable suited, uh, suited or su suitable? In dito. Okay, the correct answer is for cable tree tray installations. Next, 
in which the following scenarios is type MI cable suitable? Submerged in water, directly buried without application, exposed to corrosive chemicals that, de that deteriorate, deteriorate its sheet, or embedded in concrete or masonry. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? embedded in concrete or in masonry. Next, in which of the following location is type TC cable not permitted to be used? So yung type TC na naman tayo. So sa aling mga installation or sa aling mga locations hindi siya pwedeng gamitin. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? Hazardous locations. Next, in wet location, what property must type TC cable be resistant to? So, so wet location now. Okay. And so the correct answer for this one is dapat moisture and corrosive agents. Next, in which situation should be a cable or a raceway be protected from penetration by screws or nails or by using a steel plate or pushing? So, alin dito? Alin situation? Okay. So the correct answer is letter A. No, when the hole is bored, na may 32 mm yung tawag doon, lalim. No? Yan. Okay. So that will be the you know, end of our discussion for this evening. No. And our next discussion no, will be uh, sa part 3 is all about yung mga conduit naman this way. So, natapos natin lahat ng cable out, out, out boxes. So, again, I will be sending the copy of this session kasama yung ano, notes. No? Tapos, isi-send ko na din yung advance for the conduits at yung mga questions no? para makapag-try din kayo ng ano, uh, mag-answer. No? Yung notes mismo nung nagawa ko na na notes for the conduits. No? So, may tanong po ba? If walang tanong, medyo nabot tayo ng alas gis, no? So, ang ginawa ko kasi, ginawa ko na ng 8. Kasi dito, meron yata ang problema yung ating ano, internet, no? Yung globe at mismo at PLDT. Medyo, uh, medyo bumibilis yung kanyang connection. Kapag 8, no? 8 pataas. Iwan ko kung ano nangyari. Pero, sabi kasi nila may nagkaroon na ng problema dun sa kanilang ano, sa don, sa marine cable, no? So, we just hope na maayos to before the, ano, for the exam para magkaroon talaga tayo ng aga-aga. Pero in case, so, gagawin lang natin is if, ano naman kayo, willing naman kayo, we could have this one every 8 p.m. Tapos, gawin na natin, ano, uh, every day, no? From Monday to Saturday until dun sa ating exam. So, kahit 2 hours lang tayo per uh, night, no? Yan. If okay sa inyo. Yan. Okay, so, na lang natin dun sa ating chat if you are okay for that. And if wala nang tanong, so, tayo yung matulog na ng mahimbing at para tayo po yung makapag, ano na, makapagpahinga. At like I said, no, uh, have a habit na araw-araw, um, at least one hour per day na tayo ay mag, ano, mag-study. Okay, so, thank you and have a pleasant night ahead.